Phil joins us live from Atlanta with a look at some of the impacts. Hi, Jayla. Hi, and that's exactly right. Over 1.5 million passengers traveled through TSA yesterday across the country, and that is double the amount from last year during this same exact time. But this year, things are different. There are longer lines and even longer wait times, and that's because TSA is understaffed. They currently need more workers. According to TSA, there are over 200 airports across the country that are understaffed, and there are also up to 100 TSA workers that are needed in those airports. So far, TSA has recruited 3,000 new workers, but they still need an additional 3,000 to keep up with the uptick in travel before the summer ends. Johnny Jones with the American Federation of Government Employees, a group that represents TSA agents, says the current pay rate can discourage people from becoming an agent. Plus, the hiring process takes nearly six months to get new employees trained and started. Uh, offering the incentives is probably, like a, in my opinion, a little bit of a joke because they should be offering incentives to the employees that they have to try to keep those guys from leaving because as they hire on 6,000 employees, there's going to be another 6,000 employees going to leave the agency. You know, there's all the turnover rate is at, the, at the TSA is tremendously high compared to other federal agencies. The agency is offering incentives to lure in more workers. New hires could receive up to $1,000, and agents that are working overtime during their off days are being offered an additional $500. TSA says they are averaging over 5,000 applications per week. In the meantime, TSA is calling on their office staff to volunteer and help keep these lines moving. In Atlanta, Jayla Woodfield, Fox 35 News. Jayla,